Hidden away in the heart of Kregel Park, Johannesburg, is a meat restaurant and champagne bar. This two-year-old restaurant is a place of meeting and dining every evening and seems to be causing quite a stir. Let's go find out why. A meal restaurant was started by a group of friends. Walking into this restaurant, one can help but feel like they belong. The restaurant has a simple but very chic setting, a place known only to a few. Um, Ami means friend in French, uh, created by friends for friends. As well as we say, as soon as you enter through the golden doors, you become our friend. So it's all for friends and friends to come. Corey Combrick, the interior designer, says the colours they chose reflect the simplicity they wanted for the place. The colours we chose, the black, white and gold, is actually quite neutral colours. Um, we work a lot with colours um, with, when it comes to lighting to actually change the whole mood and feel of the space. And also during the evening, the white, you know, the white and black and gold just glows and it actually creates a very rich and beautiful atmosphere without it having without it being too over the top. Lighting is one of the main features in the restaurant. The interior designer says the plan was to marry two different looks. Well, the idea was to actually, you know, keep a bit of the industrial sort of feel to the space instead of making everything too smooth and sleek, to actually once again introduce a contrast to the more ornate and very simple, uh, uh, very simple decor. Wallpaper is slowly making a comeback in South Africa. Cory used it for a bit of the French fill. Well, we introduced the wallpaper, which is actually a foil and matte um, lace sort of looking wallpaper to introduce more depth into the restaurant and also to add to the opulence of the space, but without having it being too over the top. You know, we, cho uh, we chose it in black which you know, just creates more depth and it actually just brings in a bit of pattern in the otherwise very simple restaurant. Tian knows all about the cliché, if at first you don't succeed, try again. Um, great Inspiration is one of our friends' top chef as well. I had a restaurant before which closed down and she had the whole restaurant in a garage. And it was, the idea was like, and so let's make use of this stuff and let's do something about it. And in a, in a period of about a year's time, it kept on developing, it kept on, it kept on staying in the back of our mind. So one day we came upon the space and we just knew this is the space to have a me. And today we're here, two, two years later. Before success comes challenges. For Tian, there were quite a few. <laughs> to start off the construction side, when we walk in, it's like, oh, this is easy. And we thought, okay, after three months, we'll be able to open the doors. It took a little bit longer than that on the end of the day. It took about from six to ten months in order to open the doors because of the detail. Detail always, always takes time. But then after we open, it's like, and from my side, in the beginning, I did not have that much experience within the hospitality industry. But if you're thrown by the deep side, you learn very, very quickly. The food is one of the restaurant's pool and the owner's pride. Tian and Cory says there's lots in store for the future, but they are tight-lipped. Meanwhile, sunset comes with an influx of people, cars, and a bit of a me magic. <laughs>